Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing beautifully and enjoying the start of the year. I had a couple resolutions in mind for this year. One thing I'm going to try and do is upload a video to YouTube every two weeks or so. We'll see how that goes if I end up sticking to that. Um, but yeah, the other day I went out to the garden and it was overcast and quite cool for a summer's day, so I decided to take out my stuff and just do some painting outside. And of course I decided to paint a fairy because what else would I be painting outside in the garden on a beautiful day when all the flowers are looking at me? I tried not to put too much pressure on myself for this drawing to make something original. I just wanted to kind of stay in my comfort zone and draw a pretty fairy that would make me happy. My cat decided to bless me with his company when I was painting. He enjoyed a long nap on the rug right next to me. I think that for artists there's often this pressure to um, continue improving or always pushing ourselves to be better and aim for a higher level which you know is good to do and I, and I always try and do that but I think sometimes I want to just appreciate how far I've come and where I am right now and just enjoy you know staying here for a bit and, and playing with the style I have now and the things I can draw like things that my five or ten year old self would only dream of being able to draw. At the end of the day there's always going to be someone who is better than me or someone I perceive as you know having done it for a longer time, has refined their skills more, a level that I want to be able to reach one day and I want to remind myself to look back down at where like where I came from and how far I am right now and just appreciate it a bit more and enjoy being able to paint the things that I can in this moment. favorite stage of an illustration like this is always the painting when it's like with watercolor. Um, the sketching I enjoy as well but once I've started my sketch and I like it I get worried about how it's going to finish and if I'm going to ruin it. The inking well, is also enjoyable. I mean I enjoy all of the stages um, to an extent but particularly the painting with watercolors um, I just get into the zone. <laughs> And particularly inside of lines, like I love my line work for these watercolour pieces because painting with a brush inside of lines, I don't know, it's like magic. I used to get those colouring books, this is kind of when they started having like adult colouring books um, for like the therapeutic relaxation people get from them. And I never really enjoyed it very much, I've never really been into coloured pencils 
but when I realized I could use my watercolor paint on them I mean you know the paper didn't hold the paint that well it would warp a little bit but I started doing that and I loved it it was great it was like all these lines and I get to color them in with paint which is so much quicker and so much more satisfying so yeah if you like coloring books but you don't really like coloring with pencils maybe you should give that a try this is probably actually a thing I haven't looked it up but there are probably watercolor coloring books out there <laughs> This was quite a no fuss painting and I'm actually very happy with how she turned out. I might make some sort of print sticker or something with her eventually but for now if you would like to buy the original painting she is up for sale. If you click the link in the description it will take you to my Etsy shop. I hope you liked the relaxing vibes of this video and all the nature footage. I really like the combination of painting and art with nature because that's my biggest inspiration. Um, yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!